Okay, sorry about that. I had my thing crash while I was trying to make a video, so I'll try to redo it really quick. Uh, so this is qu the first question in Chapter 2. It says, when a baseball flies through the air, the ratio F quad over F linear of the quadratic to linear drag force is given by equation 2.7. That's this guy, I think. Uh, given the baseball has a diameter of 7 centimeters, find the approximate speed V at which the two drag forces are equally important. For what approximate range of the speed is it safe to treat the drag force as purely quadratic? Uh, under normal conditions, is it good to approximate to ignore the linear term? Answer the same question for a beats ball. I'm not going to do the beats ball one, but it's literally the same process. Uh, essentially, you set this up. When it's equal to 1, when this red bit is equal to 1, that's when you need to consider both linear and quadratic drag. So we set it equal to 1. We plugged into our knowns, and I got about 8.93 times 10 to the negative third meters per second. Uh, so that is the speed. That's the speed that the ball would have to go where you'll need to consider both quadratic and linear. Normally for a baseball in everyday life uh, or everyday world, you would just ignore linear. But when it's going very slow maybe through a different type of substance you will have to consider drag so when the velocity is uh, significantly greater than 8.93 times 10 to the negative 3 meters per second it's okay to approximate with with just the quadratic component. Okay, and then, uh, and then the next one is part C. It's literally the same thing. The only difference is uh, your diameter is gonna be different because instead it's 70 centimeters, it's a little bit bigger. Um, I guess we can go, it might be worth seeing the results just so we can talk about it maybe intuitively we can understand things a little bit better uh, okay so once again we would say f quad over f linear needs to be equal to one and this is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the third seconds over meter squared times dv or 1 over 1 1.6 times 10 to the third seconds over meters squared times 0.7 meters is equal to V. And now if I were to plug that in, let me just get rid of that bit because that'll throw my answer off. I get V to be about 8.93 times 10 to the negative fourth meters per second. Our units work out, this meter cancels with one there and because it's in the denominator, it flips. So this is the answer. This is the answer for our beach ball compared to our baseball, okay? So exact same thing uh, the only difference is this beach ball is going to have to move even slower than it currently is. So hopefully that.